Do you know what time it is today, people? Jeez! Yeah, so we are at super speed today. Ricky has gone and got himself another Armatrix exhaust system, Valvetronic. Uh, we've got the box right here. Oscar! Oscar. Come on, bro, what you got to say? He's distracting me. What, what are you saying, doing? Man? Yeah, super speed is the place. Our cat looking dirty. What are you saying, Will? How you been, mate? How's life? Are you looking proper, proper civilian-ish, man? Up. I don't know who you are. Oh, no, no, no. But, oh, man, let's get this box open, innit? So, guys, Armatrix, remember, I had one of these installed on the M4. Yeah. I messaged them, they sent this off, probably got in about three, four days. Very, very excited to see how loud this Hellcat's gonna be. One of the loudest systems on the market. Let's go, champ. Uh, Fado, do you wanna just quickly uh, explain Super Speed? Super Speed, we uh, are at MIT and Service Center. We do everything day to day stuff for cars, tires, um, wheel alignment, MOT, servicing. So, if you ever have any need for any of those, you know where to come. Come on, Will, man. What's it? What are you doing, man? You're meant to be a left mechanic, bro. What's this? We've got Armatrix poster, yeah? Lovely. <laughs> That's the exhaust. <laughs> I wonder what that is. What's that? Like a mat or something? It is. Okay, so let's just get things straight. We do have a set of down pipes, we do have the mid pipe here, we have the valve tronic mufflers. We'll take the valves off the stock system and then uh, somehow install them onto there. See Will, yeah? He was here working at LLF and then all of a sudden, man's driving a McLaren. Yeah, I just bought a McLaren. Man's got a 570S, left car it. for all. I broke it. You broke it? I broke it. Serious? Yeah, I broke it. Your fault? Oh, I didn't break it. The engine light came on and now it's in the McLaren somewhere. Yeah. Mate, I'm not going to lie, McLaren's one of my favourite brands, mate. As soon as the engine light came on, I was like, I've got to go. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to, go. <laughs> I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> Tell him what you did. Tell him. I'll show you what show, I did. Show him, yeah. I have not even seen that there. Oh, he, he, guys, imagine this. He didn't even tell me. <laughs> yeah, but I, this, this car's what was it like? To drive. It's big, isn't it? It's cool. It's a yeah. big footprint. Yeah. Everyone looks at it. A little bit neglected, the Hellcat, but we're back. <laughs> I've said we're back in the last three videos now. Trainers are looking swaggy, isn't it? So we've got the Hellcat up on the ramp. Let's have a little look underneath. The car's only got about 3,000 miles on the floor. As you can see, she's fresh, mate. We've got the Super Speed Squad. What a guaning. Give your tyres, man. Ah, oh, I like it, bro. <laughs> you know what it is? I've just not really driven it. That is the biggest lie of 2020. Do you know what it is? I was going to get some Michelin's put on there, but I wasn't sure how much more spinning I was going to do. The guy's stealing my army tricks. He's trying to turn and take my tips. <laughs> so this is the wireless remote control kit that comes with your army trick system. This is actually what the army trick system is famous for. So you get these two wireless remote controls, which come with three settings. You get a Beast mode, literally they call it beast mode, so that's gonna be full valves open. You get a neighbor mode, because let me tell you, this system is extremely loud, let me tell you. As I say, you've got a neighbor friendly mode, so you can actually have the valves completely closed. And then you've got another setting where it starts off with the valves closed. And as soon as you hit over four and a half thousand RPM, it'll automatically open the valves. It's a vacuum system, obviously the stock system is electronic. You get a vacuum from the engine. These guys, I'll get them to explain a bit more in a sec. You also get a key ring. Army tricks. You also get this Bluetooth dongle. So this plugs into the OBD port, which connects to these remote controllers via Bluetooth. If you don't want to use the wireless controllers, you can actually use the Army tricks app. It collects car data, so like things like your speed, temperatures, battery level, it even shows your throttle, and you can do some type of logging on there as well. It shows up error codes as well. This is taking it from electric um, valve system to vacuum. So it's got its own vacuum solenoid in there. Um, little piece that goes into your OBD port and then the controllers are there. Cool. Um, which we just take a back feed off the engine and run that down to the solenoids at the rear, which are these ones here on the rear box. Presentation. What are we doing here then? Putting the just gaskets putting on. the gaskets in, yeah. Quality system this is, man. TIG welds are nice and clean. You've got the matte black dual tips. Almost looks ceramic. And is this where the vacuum will plug into here, yeah? The original ones were slightly further forward. They're about here. Okay. Um, the electric ones were. Which there's a kit in the box. Um, 
so you keep the electric ones on the car. Yeah. It stops it from throwing any lights on the dash or anything. Okay. So the, oh, the, so the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us what's happened. I don't even know. A man like Oscar thought he could fly a drone and he's stuck in a tree. So there's no drone shots in this video. You know who to thank. Feeling is having a small little issue with the system. The in the way. vacuum valves at the back are just hitting the chassis rails. You can see that, guys. It's touching the tree. This is a system designed for the Hellcat, so there should be a way around it. Which hopefully we're solving right now. Sitting there trying to work out how yeah, to get this there, drone out. See it? <laughs> I can't climb a tree, so there's no even point of trying it. I see it now. It's a gone there, isn't it? So we've had to remove this centre pipe here. Yeah. yeah, just to allow these two pipes to aim up slightly, which then means that the valves towards the back box will actually clear the chassis leg. And these are just... Yeah, these are just I think it's just a strengthener. You know, it's just a joiner yeah, to connect the whole system. Come out there. No, no, nothing. No, nothing's no. gonna come out of there. Let me show you a little what um, kind of cars Superspeed deal with. So we've got an old school 300 SE. Emma's dad's got a similar car to this. You know, look, they've got AMG 6.3s, SLS AMGs, GT2 RS. Got a CLS over here. E46 M3, M135i, DC36 M3 just had a Fresh spray job done. Looks like a GTI anniversary. This is a 55. Oh, this is a Brabus CLS. Nice. So yeah, we just jumped in the CLS. Uh, Brabus edition, yeah? Yep, one of one. One of one? The only one built. This, wow. there was only this one. This is the Rocket. Yeah. And then there was the Bullet, which is the EV12, which is also up for sale, one of one. All carbon, full original carbon inlays. Yeah. Alcantara trim all the way around. Back at the headquarters, which they call Super Speed. We oh. sound Nicky boy! He's getting away. Yeah, good man. So, uh, yeah, we've got Nick back down. We've got Emma's M3. So, she's getting a, is it an S5 tracker? Yes, yeah, so we're doing a fashion approved S5 tracker. Comes with little driver recognition tags. Yeah. So, obviously, if anyone gets in the vehicle and puts the vehicle on, the tracker company will give her a call to let her know that. Uh, someone's trying to steal the vehicle, basically. Okay, so if she hasn't got that tag on her... She'll get a call. They'll know that someone is illegally trying to start the vehicle, yeah. Okay. And then you're also going to fit a ghost, right? Yeah, we're going to do a ghost as well, just to make sure no one can um, no one can start the vehicle and drive off with it. Yeah. If anyone picks the vehicle up, because quite a lot of vehicles have been getting stolen via... Um, recovery, yeah. Recovery at the moment. So, yeah. again, if the vehicle is towed away or put in the back of a lorry, if the tag isn't there, she's going to get a phone call. <laughs> The ramp now, so must be getting closer. Okay, so you can see they're like staggered. One's in front of the other. A little bit small. So this is the feed that comes out from the controller. Uh, okay. To the vacuum solenoid. Yeah, vacuum's in. Um, so it comes off the main supercharger feed here. Well, okay. off the main inlet feed just before the supercharger. Yeah. Comes around here, down to the vacuum solenoid. There, the feed runs down into the chassis leg, through the chassis leg, mm -hmm. and then tucks up on the pipe, and um, then up over the rear frame and then tees Sweet. off to the two rears. That is, yeah, possibly the baddest M5 I've seen. It's got a similar uh, carbon to Imran. The reason I didn't go with this split on mine is because Imran's running it. He's got Imran's wheels as well, or similar wheels, should I say. What are they? 660 design, yeah, isn't it? 660, yeah. I can't even get over this. Whoa, that is bad. Mine's blatantly any better, isn't it? 100%. No, yeah. <laughs> Are you looking at all? Come on, man. These are 100%. 100%. No, no, love. Listen, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Loyalty, bro. Loyalty. Loyalty, bro. Loyalty. Loyalty, bro. Loyalty. Loyalty, bro. <laughs> no, no, no listen, I loyalty. I, said, I can't say that's the best M5 here. No. I've got a bean in Ricky's car, yeah? No, but performance mate, is Ricky's, yeah, mate. but. That is. That is beautiful, man. That, the way that what? looks. Next level, boy. All right, so systems installed. Okay, give me one sec, yeah? Let's have a listen to this. Let's go. That's, that's good that is, that's a good sign. So the 
the valves closed straight away, didn't they? Yeah. They shot, yeah? It could be on auto. Yeah. Put, uh, can't you open them? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to let it come on close down. Right. So they're closed right now. They should be closed right now. And then this is open. That's a lot louder, isn't it? So it sounds a bit more tinny almost. I think that sounds better, definitely. And I'm happy that it isn't stupid loud. Obviously, if I was open, it's gonna be crazy. Sorry, Nick, I'll let you go, man. <laughs> that is nasty, isn't it? Oh my days, are you hearing this? Let me just make sure it's in. Exhaust. That sounds sick. <laughs> Valve's open? Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Wait, rev it quick, let me, let me catch that, innit? Hell yes! Okay, valve's closed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> this sounds mad in the cabin, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi, I'm a chick, you know. Yeah. Worst thing is, that's not under load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he's on the road, he's on the road. Yeah, fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. 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 It sounds nice, though, doesn't it? Like, it's not oh. bad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Even with the valves closed, it sounds good. Yeah. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Look at that, man. Beautiful stainless steel. Obviously, it's a lot lighter than the stock system. So what are you doing now? Just checking to make sure everything's all good? Yeah, when it heats up, it will move a little bit. Yeah. So we'll let it heat up, and then we'll give it another nip up, and then it's good to go. Nice, man. Now I'm studying like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young. Andy Miller knock his money in my pocket. Yeah, don't call me a money pocket, engine get to rock it. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade a knock. No, Russell Wilson way, I get low and stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah, I can do no time. What are you saying, bro? Well, this man. is a, a cleaner or the boss man? I don't even know what they're doing. No, man, I'm the cleaner. The boss man, man isn't it? Part time boss man. <laughs> uh, part time, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I hope you're happy. Mate, gas, bro. I'm gas, bro. Um, I think we're probably going to get a ban from tomorrow because we're going to be space. So, Drive yeah, by it's, it's it sounds mad. I mean, hopefully, first of all, hope everyone's staying safe with COVID uh, yeah, 19. Yeah. Obviously, we're staying open as long as we can through this period of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we do servicing repairs, um, tires, wheel alignments. We do everything in house. One thing we don't cover is body work. So, anything you do need in this period of time, obviously, give us a call. Um, we can obviously help out as many people as we can during this time period. So, yeah, feel yeah. free to. Give us a message. We're obviously working with Ricky quite often. Uh, Ricky's a long time friend of us, not just a customer. Um, so you'll see him in and out of the garage quite often. Um, and this is us, this is what we do. Um, we like to look after the customers. Love, Aaron. No Pleasure. problem, Ricky, bro. Enjoy it, man. Right. Let's get a quick little drive by for you lot. Oof. No. Race. Jesus. This thing sounds like hell. Listen to this, every little bit of throttle. 